everyone welcome to my kitchen today i have a super delicious recipe for you and i'm sure you're gonna love it so don't go anywhere i promise you you're gonna love this recipe hola mis cariños bienvenido a mi cocina hoy le traigo una receta super 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 deliciosa y muy fácil para hacer estoy segura que vas a encantar hoy le voy a mostrar cómo hacer un cheesecake de guayaba y queso para los ingredientes necesitamos son un paquete de galletas de maría tengo dos paquetes por si acaso necesito un poquito más, cuatro barras de queso crema, un cuarto taza de crema agria, pasta de guayaba, cinco huevos, una cucharadita de vanilla, unas pizquitas de sal, una taza y cuarto de azúcar y una taza de harina. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the cookies in a food processor along with melted butter and sugar. And I'm going to blend the um, cookies and um, everything together until I get um, a crumbly um, sort of um, dough. And then I'm going to use that to form the bottom of the cheesecake. Aquí tengo un procesador de alimentos para moler las galletas de maría, mantequilla derretida, azúcar, para hacer la base del cheesecake. So now I'm going to remove the top from the food processor. And um, this food processor, I really love it because my nephew bought it for me for Christmas. It's a mini food processor and you could just fit it into like the corner. It's really small and um, doesn't take up a lot of space. Also next, I'm going to add the top back on. And um, this also has like a little hole at the top. So if you want to pour any liquid inside, it goes right into it and you don't have to remove the top again. So that's another reason why I love this. But anyway, I'm going to add in my melted butter. Estoy enamorada de mi procesador de elementos. Fue un regalito de mi sobrino. Me encanta que sea pequeño y puede agregar el líquido a través de la tapa. Cuando tenga una consistencia grumosa, puede colocar la mezcla en un molde para formar la base del cheesecake. So once you get a crumbly consistency, then you want to um, take your crumbs out and you want to form the bottom of your cake. So um, you can tell when it's ready because the crumbs will be sticking together. Si quiere hacer un cheesecake perfecto, necesitarás uno de estos. Se llama spring form pan. If you want to make a perfect cheesecake, you need to buy one of these. It's called the spring form pan, and it um, has a latch over here that you can open up, and it releases from the cake so you don't mess the cake up. So now I'm going to put the bottom back um, in the pan, and I'm going to start adding my, um, my cookie crumbs into the um, bottom so I can start making the base of my cake. Ok, ahora lo vamos a aplastar bien. Simplemente presione la masa um, con tus manos o um, con lo que tenga en casa. You want to preheat your oven at 350 degrees and you want to put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. No longer than that because then it's going to crack. Ok, por el calentar el horno, lo vamos a hornear a 350 grados por 8 a 10 minutos. So this is how you want your... Um like this, all right? Mientras, vamos a poner cuatro paquetes de queso crema y lo vamos a batir. Next, we're going to add in the sugar and we're going to add it in little by little. Siguiente, agregamos el azúcar poco a poco. When you um, mix the sugar, you want to make sure that the sugar is mixed completely. So you want to scrape down the edges of the bowl uh, so that you can get all the sugar from the sides. Use una spatula para raspar el tazón para que el azúcar se mezcle completamente. Next, we're going to add in the eggs one at a time. Ahora agregamos los huevos. Los vamos a agregar uno a uno. Siguiente, agregamos un cuarto taza de crema agria y incorporamos todos los ingredientes. 
Now I'm going to add in a quarter cup of sour cream. I'm going to add in vanilla. I'm going to add in the flour. And then lastly, I'm going to add in the salt. Ahora agregamos la vanilla, la harina y sal. We're going to um, create a water bath so that our cake pan can sit into. And I'm putting aluminum foil at the bottom so that the water doesn't seep into the bottom of the uh, cake and ruin it. Ahora vamos a hacer un baño maría y cubrimos el fondo de molde con aluminio para evitar que entre agua durante el horneando. I added some butter to the edges of my um, baking pan just to make it a little easier for the cake to come off of. Agregué mantequilla a los bordes de mi molde para evitar el cheesecake se pegue. When you pour your water into the, um, the baking pan, you want to put it halfway up the uh, cake pan. You don't want it to go too far because then the water will spill into the, the cheesecake. Agregué agua hasta la mitad de molde para evitar arruinar el cheesecake. Now, um, for the, the uh, guava. Now, you can either take guava pieces and chop them up into little pieces and drop them inside your cake and they're going to sink. So you'll have um, guava throughout the cake. Or you can melt your guava and you can just add drops or dollops of um, guava throughout the cake and there'll be pieces of guava throughout the cake. Now, I'm not making a swirl cake. I'm just making guava pieces throughout the cake. Estoy derritiendo mi guayaba y voy a agregar cucharas de guayaba en todo el cheesecake. So the reason why um, I'm using guava paste is because um, I couldn't find guava jelly or jam. But if you can find it, use that. That's better, way better. But anyway, um, I wanted to melt the, the guava because I didn't want to cut the um, guava paste and then leave it into cubes and have it sink at the bottom of my cake. Si puede encontrar mermelada de guayaba es mucho mejor, pero no la encontré por eso usando um, pasta de guayaba. No la corté um, en cubos porque es demasiado pesada, así que la derretí. Okay, so this is not really the results I wanted. Um, my guava is too heavy and it's sinking, so I'm going to make the best of it. But anyway, wait, I'm going to swirl this around so it can go throughout the cake. And then I want to bake this at 450 degrees for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to turn the oven down to 225 degrees and bake it for an hour and 10 minutes. Este no es el resultado que quería, pero tengo que aprovecharlo al máximo. Onealo a 450 grados durante 15 minutos, luego baje el horno y onealo a 225 grados durante una hora y 10 minutos. So now you're going to um, let your cake rest for four hours. You need to let it rest for one hour on the um, counter, and then after it cools down, you're going to let it rest in the refrigerator for three more hours. Okay, dejamos enfriarlo en la mesa durante una hora y luego póngalo en la nevera durante tres horas. And here is my delicious guava cheesecake. Okay, so now I'm going to try a piece. Oh, look at this. This is heaven. And you see how creamy it is? Mmm. This is heaven in your mouth, really it is. You guys have to make this recipe. Anyway, I have to go, I have to finish enjoying this deliciousness, but I wanna thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Have a good day, God bless, bye bye. Well guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Uh, follow me on Facebook at Lilitas Cuban Kitchen. Bueno, mis cariños, es hora para irme. Si te gusta este video, dale un like, deja un comentario. No se olvide suscribirse a mi canal y sígueme en Facebook en mi grupo Lilitas Cuban Kitchen. Gracias por verme. Muchas bendiciones. Bye bye.